Hola, what's up? It's your boy Esteg AJ. Uh, this is just a speech, you know, a video blog or whatever. You know, if you think I'm gonna rap for you now, freestyle session, it's none of that. Just straight up talk. So if you think it was gonna be that, go turn it right off now. You know, this is just a video for my views, my beliefs, and it help you understand me a little bit more. What I'm aiming to do, what I'm trying to accomplish to do, and it's gonna be the first of hopefully a few you know um so first off you know let me start off with my stage name SA AJ well you know AJ but the essay people ask why I say you know because I, I'm living in England right here I'm in England and essay you know I mean people ain't gonna understand what SA is here but you know any anyone ask them I, I never hold back to tell them I, I'll straight up tell them exactly what it means and why and what it is is um it, it represents that Chicano culture, uh, and without Chicano culture or Chicano rap, then I would not, I would not do any of this. I would not be here right now speaking on this to you without Chicano rap in a sense, and that's why I take the title essay. So wherever I go and wherever I get, it always relates to that because without that, they would not be me. I would not do any of this, and um, you know Chicano. You can't you can't define Chicano as a as a race or color or a nationality or Chicano rap. You can't put a boundary on that and say it's you know it's just for this people, in a sense. You know I mean there's going to be many out there that do accept me for this, and there's going to be many out there that are against me for this. But believe me, my motives motives are good. <laughs> it's up to you and make your own judgment on that. What I'm trying to say, you know, there's people out there you know that think, but just. Simply, music is not a colour, you know, there's no boundary to it, it doesn't say only these type of people can listen to this type of music, see music is for everyone, and that's what I'm just getting apart, getting across right now, I'm trying to do it briefly, you know, but efficiently, just so you get a little piece of my mind on what's going on up here, <laughs> so yeah, but like, that's what I'm trying to say, there's, I'll always, and I'll always relate to that uh, Chicano culture, no matter where I go, what I do, I'd never sell out about it. I'd always, because without it, I just would not do this. Uh, I mean, I preach, I preach Viva la Raza, even the pendant I hold, wear it all the time, it has engraved on the back Viva la Raza, in memory of the late great Eduardo Gori Guerrero Lanes, you should know about. But, because Viva la Raza, what well, it means, you know, live the race, but to me, I live that race. That, the, and be the Chicano culture, the Chicano race is the most easily defined characteristics towards that race. Like, it's, you know what I mean? It's the working class people, the lower class people just trying to come up, trying to earn an honest living and trying to get by, surviving, you know, facing nothing but defeat, just surviving day by day, just trying to get it all together, you know, and just trying to come up in this world. But, you know, because we're always facing setbacks, pushbacks, because I guess we're living in a rich man's world in a sense, <laughs> and like you know, not all of us, are, not all of us are rolling it in, man. I, I'm, uh, I ain't, in a sense, like I ain't got, I ain't got much. And I see, I, I'm never, my motives have never been for myself. It's never been for greed. I've always been one to do it for other people. You know, I, obviously there's people that are ignorant. Like you not know I mean a lot of people are ignorant of it. I'll never be ignorant to it. Because ignorance to me is like you know the stem and root of all evil. Well, it's in knowledge, knowledge. You know what I mean? Is the stem and root to all good in a sense. So that's what I believe. See, my philosophy and uh, for the past five or six years, you know, I've just been spending them um, most times philosophizing and stuff, trying to just you know putting it all putting it all into perspective in my mind. You know, taking it taking in a lot of stuff but not quite putting out you know just learning it all you know see I, I never speak on something that I wouldn't know about you know it's better to be quiet if you're not knowing what you're saying but I'm speaking out now because I believe I know a lot more than I, what I did in a sense you see the school like I've learned more than what I learned in school because schools these schools are set up for conditioning in a sense you know they're set up to teach you what the government want you to know in a sense you know keep you 
keep you hypnotized in a sense uh, keep you blindsided to what's really going on in the bigger picture of things and yeah I speak about the bigger picture and I know truths out there or I say, you know people say I have my theories of things out there but to me it's not a theory it's what I believe in and I believe that's something to die for in a sense it's God's will and that's what I talked about like I'm joking a little bit, you know, just trying to get off the top of the mind. As you know, it's not um, one of my first times speaking direct to you. But like, yeah, it's. I mean, a lot of people, you know, people even people gonna look into this and think he's crazy. <laughs> you know, I should be locked up in a mental institution, or asylum. But no, we we're, we're set aside for being crazy. People like me. Because we're not the norm, you know, we don't, we're not hypnotized, we're not there to do what sheep do, like, you know, follow one another. We're different, and I mean, you could be different too. All, all you need to do is just open your eyes, you know, <laughs> just uh, see there's people like me, many people like me. I ain't going to mention any names, but all you got to do is just lend us your ears and we'll open your eyes, in, in a sense. See... I mean, obviously, music, like, that's what I'm trying to say, I mean, obviously, I'm known from the music, S.A.J., that you kind of rap, English, British rap, all mixed into one, T-side rap, but my life is way more than just a rap, I mean, a lot of people are rappers, a lot of people are just rappers, but they can't philosophy on the needs, and that's what I do, like, my philosophy goes beyond just music, it's bigger than that, like, my whole characteristics and charisma is bigger than that bigger than just music although music is a big part of my life it would not all add up if it isn't for this and see that's what my music is for is for like I don't like I don't do the music for like mainstream you know I don't do the music for publicity I do it for the people I do it for me most first and part, you know what I mean, first and foremost, I do it for me, but then the people that want to hear, the people that can relate, John, you know, that's what I'm trying to say, it's like, yeah, I had to take a little breather there, that's why you might have seen a little merge, but um, beforehand, that's it, I mean, I'm pretty cut, it's pretty much a conclusion to what I'm trying to say, I mean, hopefully I've come, a, come across, you know, covered all aspects um, you know briefly and most efficiently as I could and hopefully I've come across understandable to you and hopefully you understand a little more about about me the way my mind works the way what I'm thinking I mean uh, as an also I like as an artist I'm not like I mean a lot of this that's what I'm saying I mean there's a lot of Ah, it's not there. I mean, everyone's a rapper nowadays, <laughs> but the people out there, they're not, they're not philosophizing on that. I mean, there's people out there that don't think they have the power to philosophize on things also, because I think they're not superior enough to philosophize. Anyone can philosophize, and you philosophize on things, and you put things in perspective, it open, you know what I mean? It's like opening a book, and it's like showing to you and you just and each day is like you know a new page it's like you're learning new things one all over again i mean see i'm a t as an artist I'm, I'm like i'm not someone i'm not someone who say you know shout out to this shout out to that because what is a shout out given do you know like my music like it, yeah but what is a shout out given like it's not giving anything back all you're doing is giving a shout out, I mean, you need to, me personally, you know what I mean, if I was as big as some of these rap stars, I'd be giving st things straight back to the community, I'd be giving things back, I'd be doing things for the youth that I couldn't, I mean, there is, that I didn't get, but I mean, there's many rappers out there, there's many celebrities out there that are giving things back, and they're the good stars, but then there's other times, there's other times it's just greed, greed, money, wine, bitches, fast cars, and that's not what I'm about, you see, they're just possessional things, 
and positional things is just greed and it's not so much worthwhile in a sense, you know. Like my where was it? where was it? So it's getting late. My starting to do it all the time, but hey, uh, um, see, I mean, my music, my music doesn't reach a mainstream audience. I mean, I can watch, I can watch these TV things. I mean, I can watch these TV things late night, and they love independent artists. Um, but you know, they have a public figure about them. You know, and people the known in a sense. For that what they do and I can look at this and I know I can know I write better than this I can flow better than this all that like well, I'm not saying better because I'm not better than any every anyone to be honest I'm not better than anyone musically spiritually I'm just different you gotta understand that I am different but because these men because these mainstream that I mean I'm not obviously I've done a little bit of commercial rap here and there I mean who hasn't I mean I've um, you know yeah I gotta try new things you know broaden your horizons and experiment I mean that's what it was experimenting but I don't the, but what I talk about doesn't really reach that mainstream side I mean maybe I'm baffling a bit now you know about the same issues <laughs> I, I'm, quite, I'm not sure what I've covered and what I haven't covered so I'm trying to like you know I mean it's kind of like back and forth back and forth but you know that's where, that's where my mind's working right now <laughs> so just uh, bear with me and yeah see like I mean there's there's haters out there also I mean here I mean it's just say that yeah we'll get the haters in a minute but right now they're I can, I can, see I've got all these things in my mind, I just don't know what getting hot with words, but uh, I can look in the, in a sense, I'll never sell out then, do you know what I'm saying? I'd never sell out, see I, I can, I'm a kind of person, I can look in the mirror and accept who I am, I'm, I'm intact with my soul, I can sell my soul, it's in, I mean I, I, I can't sell my soul, it's in me, it's not going nowhere, it's intact with me. And then, you know, there's a lot of people out there can't connect with themselves. So you've got to find yourself. If you can't find yourself and you're, you know, big, high, well, I guess you may have sold your soul in a sense. Um, and, you know, people, people are going to hate no matter who you are. <laughs> you're going to get hated. But I don't let them bother me in a sense. I'm just, you see, they're the kind of people who can look at look in the mirror and just be like and can't accept who they are you know they can't accept who they are they can't once you accept who you are you find out life is so much easier but with the critical issues that are addressed in today's living then life is kind of tough I mean I'm representing what I'm representing also is uh, one nation and it's all about one nation see no matter Regardless of your birthplace, we are one nation, you know. And that's all. I, and I preach that. I preach. I just preach what I believe in. I. I mean, yeah, it's getting late now. I hopefully, hopefully, I've kind of covered. Ish, things, issues. That are understandable to you. And you know what I'm aiming to get at, and what I'm aiming to get out of it. So um. Hope yeah, yeah, I'll end it right now, you know, I'll be running out of time, I won't be able to upload it, you know what I mean, yeah, like seed limitations on upload. But yeah, I'm just saying You know if you're liking what you seriously if you have any questions, anything you don't understand, just write a comment, I'll reply, send me a private message, I'll reply. Here it is <laughs> Don't even waste your time. Um Get at me, follow me, you know, Facebook, like the page up there, www.facebook.com forward slash S-E-A-J, E-S-E-A-J, 
Twitter, follow me on Twitter, um, you know, at S-A-J Hartley, E-S-E-A-J-H-A-R-T-L-E-Y. I mean, all the links will be in the description just down here anyway. But, you know, I mean, I guess I kind of need support, like, I'm not, that, like, motivation, you know what I mean? If there's people out there understanding me, understanding what I'm doing, and, a rec and receiving something from me, then you're my motivation, you know. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll end it now. Conclusion to tonight. Yeah, we're talking 23 a.m. But um, yeah, if uh, but like I say, any questions, just holler. Hopefully, I'll get another video to you. One more to the point, and less babbling on. But this is going to be kind of long of my baffling but if you take your time to watch it i thank you for that if you take your time and listen to me and what i'm trying to say i thank you for that also so yeah you know just keep looking out you know one nation forever seaj representing from that yam town and that chicano culture all of it that's what i'm doing for everyone worldwide from me to you Aratos.